Last night, I had a call with one of my clients from California, and she was just amazed by how much and how fast the Frisco real estate market has been going up. Their family came in Dallas a few weeks ago, and I showed them a few homes. They were absolutely flabbergasted with the crazy and insane demand for homes. Even with the home builders, that's tremendous demand. We went to one of the home builders, and I won't say their name, but the sales rep was like, you can put your name down, we might give you a call back because we have over 150 people on a waiting list to build homes. I'm also working with home buyers who are telling me that they want to wait until 2021 to buy. They want to wait until the bubble pops so they can scoop up some fantastic deals at rock bottom prices. So essentially, they want to time the market. Well, as a current forbearance mortgage relief options come to an end, many are wondering if they'll face a foreclosure crisis next year. From my research, next year we will see an uptick in foreclosures because some states have already started to foreclose on homeowners. We're also going to see an uptick in evictions from renters who have not been making their rental payments. On top of that, the actual landlords who own the properties are hurting as well. Many of them have not received a rent check from their tenants. Therefore, they don't have the money to pay their mortgage, right? So we may see some of that inventory hit the market. A lot of Airbnb owners are really hurting right now. They're also going to continue to hurt throughout the winter. This level of uncertainty is understandable for home buyers and home sellers alike, especially for those who remember the housing crisis that began back in 2008. I know I remember because I was extremely heavy into real estate investing when this happened. I can remember back around 2007 and I was trying to refinance one of my investment properties and my loan officer told me that all the loans and all the funds had dried up. It was pretty ugly. It was very ugly. So I understand on the surface why many people think that the housing market is going to get flooded with short sales and foreclosures and the market is going to crash and that's when they're going to buy. But I'm here to tell you that may not happen and here's why. The reality is plans have been put in place through the forbearance to ensure that homeowners and history doesn't repeat itself. This year, homeowners are able to request 180 days of mortgage relief through forbearance. Upon expiration of that time frame, they are also entitled to request an additional 180 days, bringing that total to 360 days of deferred payment eligibility. As forbearance expires, homeowners should stay in touch with their lender because creating a plan for deferred payments is a critical next step to avoiding foreclosure. There are multiple options for homeowners to pursue at this point, and with the right planning and communication with the lender, foreclosure does not have to be one of them. Many homeowners are concerned that they'll have to pay the deferred payments back in a lump payment at the end of their forbearance, and it goes as follows. You don't have to repay the forbearance amount all at once upon completion of your forbearance plan. Here's an important thing to remember. If you receive a forbearance plan, you will have options when it comes time to repaying the missed amount. You don't have to pay the forbearance amount at once unless you're able to do so. So that's good news for homeowners, and it's one thing that will limit the number of foreclosures that could potentially come on the market. When looking at the percentage of people in forbearance, we can also see that this number has been decreasing steadily throughout the year. Fewer people than initially expected are still in forbearance, so the number of homeowners who will need to work out alternative payment options is declining. This means there are fewer and fewer homeowners who are at risk of foreclosure, and many who initially applied for a forbearance didn't end up needing it. Mike Fratatino, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, Fratatino. He's the Senior Vice President and Chief Economist at the Mortgage Bankers Association. He explains, for those who are still in forbearance and unable to make their housing payment, foreclosure isn't their only option. In their Housing Equity Insights report, CoreLogic indicates many homeowners have enough equity in their homes today to be able to sell their houses instead of foreclosing. Selling and protecting the overall financial investment may be a solid option for many homeowners. Here's the bottom line. If you're currently in forbearance or think you should be because you're concerned about being able to make your mortgage payments, 
reach out to your lender to discuss your options and your next steps. Having a trusted, knowledgeable professional on your side will give you the essential insight to the process and may be the driving factor that helps you stay in your home. My name is Terry Hendricks. I'm a local realtor here in Frisco, Texas with REMAX DFW Associates. I talk about all things real estate, buying, selling, investing, renovating, and design. If you like this video, I suggest that you subscribe here and check out more of my content. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.